as the match starts for the final quarter. Four points the difference in favour of the Swans. The crowd finding voice. Barry Round against Madden, who wins it yet again. He's hardly been beaten in that centre circle bounce. Picked up by Carey and driven forward. Windbanks in front. Behind Salmon. Windbanks wins out. The two number nines, Victorious and Shane Hurd over Ackerley. One of Essendon's best players, he and Hawker. Round, better judgment over his taller and younger opponent. The awkward style of Round sees the ball delivered to centre field. Smith just unable to do too much about that. With the shoulder being what it is, certainly a courageous effort from him here this afternoon. Merritt. And the mark taken by Grant Fowler at centre half forward. So predictably, Essendon doing, Essendon doing most of the attacking at the moment. Fowler obviously confident that he can kick this and put Essendon in front for the first time today. Won't quite make the distance. Round is down there and again takes a very good grab. And the Swan skipper trying to get his side back into the match. Windbanks. Evans. Evans left half back flank. Looking for a lead. All players are well covered though. Braddy, he went out of it after quarter time, but a very good first quarter. Smith. That's out of the ball. From uh, Clayton. No, the umpire says not. I thought uh, like you did, Luke. Yes, well, it looked to come from um, below the. And we watch it again. As, uh, we'll see whether it was below the knee or not. Well, it hit him on the knee, I think. Might have been just touched by uh, his hand as well. Evans. Knocked out to Watson from Neil Clark. Back to Morwood. No one to give it to. No one running past. Cruz eventually up from defence. Torbett tries to take the mark. Not successful. And umpire Morrow blows the whistle for a ball up. It's a ball up about uh, 30 metres out from the Swans goal. And they're leading by uh, four points at the moment. Off to a great start in that first quarter, kicking eight goals, two to the uh, Bombers, only two points, but they're gradually wearing them down. The Bombers, a hand pass, coming out now to Neagle. Neagle's kick is out wide towards that wing position. The chance for Hawke, he's been a very good play, but he fumbled that one. This gives uh, a chance here now to Bernie Evans. You know, oh, he's tripped, he's got to pay that free kick. Now he decides to let him play on because he didn't want to penalise them. And finally, he kicks the ball high up there towards Torbett in front position. Couldn't hold it. Carroll's there, but he can hardly move, and the umpire will ball it up again about uh, 35 metres out from the Swans' goal. And, boy, Bob, they badly need a goal at the moment. Yes, they're certainly giving it a fling, though, Luke. They're down there in attack now. They've got to get a bit of a break here to get a goal to make it a 10-point lead. Knocked out by Matt, but Torbett's there, too. Finally, we see uh, Kate, uh, Clayton getting clear. Thompson gets a wild hand pass towards that forward pocket. Clark's out there. His kick is a high one. Doesn't cover much distance. It's Scott and Watson going for it. Scott's got the mark. Good effort by Scott. He's got a sore shoulder too, apparently. Had an ice pack on at three-quarter time. Torbett again up there. They're all having a fly. It comes down to uh, Clayton again. Threads his way through the pack. Knocked on that time. Oh, well intercepted by Brad. If he couldn't get clear. The ball finally forced down towards centre-half forward. Watson's in plenty of trouble. Gets it out to Andrews. Actually just about threw it out that time to Thompson. Back towards the centre-half forward position for uh, Essendon. Going after his uh, Browning. Couldn't pick it up. Now there's a chance for Fowler to get one. He got one uh, pretty low that time. Salmon can't get down. Down goes Browning again. The umpire set a free kick. May have been a bit lucky that time. Yes, I, I must agree. <laughs> if you put your head down, you might get it kicked off or the free kick. Well, they're not giving up without a fight. They're four points in front, and they, they, they determined to hang on to us. We see uh, Carter. They've changed the team right around because Carter's down there on the wing position. He can't get clear. The umpire's playing a free kick against him for holding the ball. By God, that's pretty tough. Not much of a chance yes. to get rid of it. <laughs> I must agree with our director. He was not grabbed. <laughs> Van der Haar, right centre wing. What a beautiful kick. Now, that's a free kick in the back. To Winbanks. What a serviceable game from Winbanks, and he kicked a very nice goal too earlier in the match. Anthony Danaher. Ackerley. Well smothered by Thompson. Ackerley's equal to the occasion. Tries to fight off Otway. Gets it to Lucas. 
Dummies well from right half forward. He'll put it deep into the goal square. Carey's in front of the pack. Ready. Put it he has. That's a goal. That livens up the crowd. So Braddy, four goals to him. He's the Swans' leading goal kicker. The difference, 10 points again, 97-87. Nessel, yes, what a great uh, start for the quarter. And uh, you could certainly have to admire the way they've gone about it, Lou. Uh, uh, we've termed it a few times, the walking wounded. And you cannot help but admire that the endeavour that the side has put in. Ten points the difference on Sevens Big League from the Sydney Cricket Ground. Four goals to Braddy. Watson's kick high towards the Essendon centre half forward position. Cruz and Otway doing battle. Wright comes in to assist him. Caught with the ball. Play on, says umpire Morrow. Another chance for Wright. It's a free kick to Essendon this time, and it's going to Big Salmon. Fowler. Fowler within kicking distance has the chance once again to make the difference four points. We had a thriller the last time these two sides yes, played. Yes, we did. But they won it on time on. Kick, I think they kicked three goals in the time on period. Essendon? Yes, the Swan stopped to a walk. Neil Clark moved downfield to kick the winning goal. That's not a winning goal. It's three for one behind. Makes the difference nine points at the SCG. 97 to 88. Well, they can't stop to a walk today because they've been walking half of them for the last <laughs> half the game. <laughs> Waiting now for the ball to come back into play. Nine points the difference. And about seven minutes gone of this last quarter. Chance for Barry Rounder Mark. He dropped that one as a difficult one. Picked up by Carter. He's grabbed. Couldn't get clear. Going after it now is Watson. He's grabbed. Loses the ball. Foot on the boundary line. Scooped back by Vanderhaar. Carter's there too. He was grabbed. The umpire pay a free kick. Green for sure. Holding the man. Goes for a hand pass. Oh, Browning fumble that one. Uh, well, a good play on the part of right. They were lucky to get away with that, the Swans. I noticed that Watson's in a bit of trouble. Finally, Neagle takes the mark. The left footer back there towards centre half forward. Knocked on that time by Matt. Back it goes there to Better at Bettison. He can't get clear. Hand pass coming over that time from Roberts. Over to Lucas. Another one over there to uh, Cruz. Another long one now out on his own is Danaher. Goes for a long kick over that half forward line. Kerry coming to the back of Vernon. But De Vernon couldn't hold that much. But there's Smith in the thick of things too. Watson carried off the ground. That's a blow to the Bombers. Just about their best player. By well, golly, there have been some injuries here today. And we might uh, say it could be the ground being so hard, Bob. Oh, look, I, th I don't think you can put it down to that, Lou. OK, the ball knocked out now. Finally driven up there by uh, Ackley. Chance for Brad to mark. Couldn't hold that one. Kicked off the ground by Clayton. Not a good kick. In goes Clayton again. He's fumbled. Tapped it over to Eagle out there at half back. He's grabbed nearly hold the ball. Finally, it comes back to Thompson. Another hand pass. And down he goes, Danner. Is he tripped? No. no. The umpire said no. Finally, over to Thompson again. And the Bombers get it out of the danger zone. Oh, is it Madden? What a mark. Madden goes for a hand pass. Back it comes now to West. A running shot for goal. And the result, a goal. Oh, three points the difference now. What a game we've got on our hands. Four goals to West, Lou. He's a real goal snake, isn't he? Three points the difference, 15-7 to 13-16. Yes, well, it, uh, you could say uh, the players are in defence for the Bombers. Uh, were given plenty of time to uh, get rid of the ball and uh, a great mark by Simon Madden, uh, really rising to the occasion as we see Timmy Watson hobbling around the boundary. Seems to be somewhere in the knee region that they're working on or is it a little bit low? Maybe it's an ankle. He has his boot off. Three points the difference. Knocked down, uh, well, by nobody in particular. And umpire Morrow will again ball it up. I know it's that Copping's back on the ground, Bob. Well, Watson uh, going off, Lou. Copping had to come on. Yeah. Uh, Duckworth, obviously, uh, no chance at all coming back on. So uh, even though uh, Copping is injured, he too has to come out onto the ground. Ackley to right half forward for the Swans. Vernon or Fowler into his back. Knocked away by Merritt. Not quite at the boundary line. Danaher will pick it up just inside. Right making position. High to the goal square. Looking for Braddy. Can't take the mark. Plenty of opposition from Essendon players there. Three of them combined here. Smith caught without the ball. Free kick to him, Bob. Yes, a poor tackle on that occasion. Uh, the Essendon player taking his eye off the ball and not realising that Greg Smith had lost possession. You'll see here the tackle from Carey. Smith with the 
arm in the air. Got more of padding there than a gridiron player on his shoulder. But well, <laughs> I suppose if uh, there were some padding downstairs from that American game, then he probably would have come out wearing it. Watson still being worked on as Greg Smith comes in for the shot at goal, which he has made no mistake with. And the Swans answer the challenge yet again. 103 to 94 in Simmons Big League from the SCG. What a match it's been. A game of courage from many, many players here. On both sides, Peter. Yes. Because, uh, you know, it's been a wonderful game to watch, and I'm sure that uh, both coaches, uh, neither one will certainly not be happy with the result, but they would be happy with the efforts. One hundred and three to ninety-four. As play underway again, knocked down by Round. Carey to Salmon. Ackerley's in the road. Ball barely travelling ten metres, but Ackerley taking the mark, just short of uh, centre field. Kevin Sheedy, the Essendon coach, on the phone. Almost a mark to Smith again. Couldn't quite stretch out. Neagle takes the hand pass. Downfield he moves. After taking it from uh, Clayton. Mark take it on centre wing. Neagle gets it back from West. Almost a mark brought in by Bettison again. Looking for a free kick. Winbanks takes the ball over the line. And we'll see a boundary throw it in the Essendon forward pocket. Out of bounds about 30 metres around from the Essendon goal. And they're trailing by nine points at the moment. Ball knocked back over the head. There's a chance now for Otway to get clear. Grabbed a little high, but the umpire set play on his carry break through the back. Has a punch shot at the goal, but he's up target. The umpire's found a free kick here. It'll go to Carey, I uh, think. Downfield, Lou. Might go downfield. OK, Bob. So it'll go over there now to Copping, who's replaced Tim Watson in this last five or six minutes. And we're about at the 12-minute mark of this uh, last quarter with uh, the Swans nine points in front. The umpire pushing Copping right around, right to the boundary line. It's only about 15 metres out from goal, if that. A vital kick by uh, Copping this time for the Bombers if they're going to win this match here today. The kick. I think he's missed it, yes. So it's eight points, the difference now. Golly, they're finding it hard to get uh, past this uh, Swans team who's shown tremendous courage. No doubt if they happen to win this, I reckon Smith would be the hero of the day, uh, Bob, without any worries. He makes a habit of those things, doesn't he? <laughs> Waiting on Browning now. I notice that Ackley's playing on the wing to give them a bit of drive out there because Hurd's been a very good player. Barry round in front. Couldn't hold that one. Carey going through again. Finally picked up by Bernie Evans. He won't be able to kick it with his left foot for sure. That's why he went back into his right boot. Goes for a short pass. Down goes Morwood, but he's showing determination. Won't get rid of the ball. Picked up by Hurd, the boy we were talking about. His kick is down there. Down goes Winbanks. Can't get clear. Otway's over the top of his back. Once again, Madden knocks it out to Hawker. A snap the goal. Will he make it? It's pretty close. Oh, Bettison couldn't hold up. Will the umpire play a free kick? No, he said no. A hand pass coming out there that time uh, from uh, Winbanks. There's a chance now for a short pass from Copping and a mark to Vanderhaar. And he's only about 15 to 20 metres out from goal on a very slight angle. And, of course, if he kicks this one, it'll be only two points the difference. Vanderhaar coming in the Flying Dutchman for this shot. I think he might have missed it. So it's seven points the difference, and they're in there still fighting the swan. Well, could say the Bombers have really had their chances. Well, if you look at the scoreboard, Bob, it tells the story 13-18, doesn't it? The 16-7. So the swan straighter kicking has kept them in the lead for how long? 103 to 96. As the ball driven back into play, round, lifting himself for the occasion. Literally. Anthony Danaher and his brother. Anthony wins out from Terry. No mark. Free kick. Oh, oh. No free kick either. Andrews and Torbett. Andrews keeps it in play. Terry Danaher goes down. They all go over the top of him. And the ball is still in play. Well, the umpires have certainly missed a few on this side of the ground. Maybe because they're looking into the sun. Who knows? Torbett and Madden. Madden tries to find Otway. Finds Terry Danner instead, who uh, almost threw it out to his teammate down there. That was Hawker. Andrews, well tackled. 
They're certainly letting it go, I'll say that. Come by Kevin Smith now decides to ball it up. It's only 30 metres from the Swans' goal. And they certainly need one here to maintain their leeway. The very tight match after the first quarter, knocked down by Torbett. Plenty of Essendon players are there. And going through solidly, Danaher. Up towards centre field. That's a mark. Brought in by Steve Copping. <coughs> he looks OK. Spent most of the game on the bench after incurring an injury in the first term. Big Salmon can't take the grab. Bettison. <laughs> off target, but only Justin threw for one behind. And so Essendon sneaking forward ever slowly. 13-19, 97 to 16-7, 103. So it's a goal the difference now. One straight kick for the Bombers. They'll tie this game at the moment. Ball back into play. Finally a chance now for Vernon to pick it up. He's out clear of that pack. Gets away from Neagle nicely. Shoots the ball right across there towards centre field. Punched away by Smith. Going after it now is Hurd. After him is Wright. Hand pass back to Ronnie Andrews. Let's see what he can do with this one. It's a kick over the centre half forward line. Looking for Salmon. And he's got it. He'll pay the mark. Even though Copping tried to break clear. Now this kick by the big uh, tall uh, forward Druckmann uh, Salmon. He'd only be about uh, 40 metres out from goal. If he's successful, scores will be dead level. He makes Justin Madden look like a dwarf. Here he goes now, Salmon. Got the world on his shoulders for this kick, uh, Bob. <laughs> Let's see what he can do with it. Taking his time. And, of course, the difference now. Six points in favour of the Swans. There's the kick. And I think he's kicked the goal. So scores a dead level. And we're at the, uh, let me see, the 17-minute mark. And the Bombers are level pegging with uh, the Swans. 103 points apiece. This will Paul Salmon's first goal in uh, VFL football, as we said on, again on replay. Ron Andrews putting the ball forward, Salmon up high, a lovely mark, and uh, he really, at no stage, took his eye off the ball. Great mark. Play on the way again, dead level here, the crowd finding voice, Carey. Copping will get a mark or free kick. No. Play on. Salmon again, he'll put them in front if he can score here. It's a goal. They're in front by a goal. Two goals to seven in 45 seconds. And so it's 15-19 to 16-7. Well, that'll be the proudest day of this boy's life if they win this match, Essendon, Bob. Well, if he doesn't feel confident now, Lou, he never will, that is for sure. There's Copping and, uh, well, Copping probably a little unlucky not to be paid the mark on that occasion. And uh, the big fellow, Salmon, really showing some agility to uh, pick up the swoop on the ball, pick it up and put it through. Essendon leading by six points, 109 to 103. The first time they've been in front all day. Loose ball on centre wing, taken by Stephen Wright. Ackerley, short to Anthony Danner. His brother tackles him. On to Scott in the forward pocket. Can the Swans level it up? Round in the goal square. Carroll waiting down. Likewise is uh, Neagle, who hits the deck. The ball over the boundary line will see a throw in been a thriller I think the result would have been predictable though with all the Swans injuries maybe they can come back and prove me wrong Merritt well caught and drops the ball picked up by Little Otway trying to find Neagle Evans well caught by Neagle in turn free kick to Evans without Peter caught too high says the umpire Bernie Evans left half forward about 50 meters from goal still with his leg very heavily strapped so subsequently not a good kick. Andrews read it well. Danaher high towards the boundary line. Could be over. Yes, it was. So a free kick to the Swans will be taken again by Bernie Evans. And I think the Swans would be well advised to have a couple of players drop short as well. well he's all right with the right foot. It's the, the, the left he's, one. It's he's got a kick off at that, Lou. Yes. <laughs> see what he can do this time. A little bit better, but not much. It's a Swans mark around. Oh. Oof. Could have been a 15-metre penalty that time. got one right on the back of the head. Done by Kevin Smith, shaking his head very, very quickly. So it was round, but for a different reason. <laughs> oh, you duck by. Oh. Well, too close to goal late in the game, maybe. We'll send them to Coles and Garrard. So round. 
30 metres out directly in front with that awkward kicking style has made a complete mess of that one out of bounds on the fall free to Essendon. Well, Rout had a chance to level scores. The Bombers still in front by six points as Andrews takes the free kick down there in that forward pocket position. We're right on the 20-minute mark of this last quarter. The ball kicked high towards that half-back line. Round in front. Couldn't hold that mark. The ball hits the deck. Pushed out to Evans again. The left foot kick up to the goal square. Carroll's in a bad way there. He can't get around. He's trying to break clear of the pack. He can hardly move. Knocked out by Andrews. Forwards after. He finally gets a kick out wide to that wing position. There's Smith out there on his own. Gets around Andrews. Oh, he got him by the leg. The umpire didn't see it. He missed it. He grabbed him by the leg. Unbelievable. That is unbelievable, that one. Waiting now for uh, Andrews to go for a hand pass. Out wide. Picked up by Clark. He fought further nicely. And the ball is finally shot out there to watch that centre half forward position. Punched away by Lucas. Then again by Vanderhaar. Down out there towards Torbett. Can he get there? Hawker got into his back. Now it's Copping picking the ball up. Hooks the ball back there looking for Big Sam and couldn't hold the mark. And the ball is out of bounds in the forward pocket position. A goal the difference in favour of the Bombers. 103 points for Swans to Eston 109. Waiting now for the ball to come back into play. Torbett in front. Actually, Salmon got that one. Pushed out by German. Uh, Torbett knocked over to Burner. A fresh air shot, but he recovers the ball. Finally goes for a pass, looking for Brady at the back there. A great mark to Danaher. Well, the Swans are still in there fighting. As we see a 15-metre penalty, this brings him right up to the wing position. Goes for the long kick, looking for Barry Round. Andrews is there. Round couldn't hold as a go now for Norwood. And scores as he put it through. Yes, a goal. Scores dead level again. And the Swans still in there with a the fight. Well, what a game we're watching. 109 apiece. Well, a great mark by T uh, T Tony Danaher. He and Terry Danaher. You know, don't often see opposition um, sides have brothers against each other. And uh, Tony Moore would really getting the tap down from Big Barry Round, putting this, making the scores level again. So it's a great for the game of football. Yes, and we're all getting involved in it here. Listen, that crowd, uh, Peter, who said Sydney people don't know anything about football? Yes, I don't think Brian Dixon need bother explaining the rules to them before any other match up here. It was a waste of time. Centre wing. What's it? Streaming forward. From right half forward flank, he'll put them deep into attack. Short passes to Copping, and that's out of bounds. That a bound, Steve Copping just couldn't trap that one. And so we'll see a throw-in in the Essendon forward pocket. 22 minutes gone, in fact a little bit more, tw nearly 23. So probably about seven minutes left to play, either side plenty of time to get a winning break. Cruz and Otway, Winbanks comes in to assist him. Puts it wide out towards the outer side. Smith waiting for the crumbs that don't come his way. Chance for Essendon. Hur score will put them in front yes it's a point Essendon lead could be a very useful behind that one 110 to 109 15 20 to 17 7 and you're watching a thriller on sevens big league from the Sydney cricket ground Winbanks goes the long kick Madden at Andrews Watson traps it one-handed Browning puts him off balance that's out of bounds on the full and so a penalty kick going the Swans way. And again, the recipient will be Winbanks. And take the kick right next to the behind post. Oh, kicked into the man on the mark, which was Salmon. Clark. Now, he was the match winner last time up here. He kicked the winning goal. That was bad play on the part of Winbanks. First to the smother, then... Uh, well, he the... went too close yes, to the man right. on the mark. He tried to kick over a six foot eight foot a six foot eight player from about a meter away so Clark about 50 meters out from goal any score would be advantageous for Essendon he's scored has he or is it out on the full again no out on the full again so once again we'll see a penalty free kick this and time they're not taking the risk with wind banks I think Roberts will kick it in from that uh, back pocket position well, a point the difference. Can the Bombers hang on now? They're all flying, all having a go at that one now. Finally, it's come back to Scott, a hurried kick. It's a mark to Bernie Evans. He's on that half-back line. They're down by a point at the moment, the Swans. A 15-metre penalty. 
But this will give him a chance to get it up there, a big uh, round if he can. The only problem is whether Round can kick a goal. He's the worst kick in Australia, just about. A pass and a mark to Browning. Now, Browning should go for the long kick here, Bob. Yes, they've got to get it right down, and maybe uh, Barry Round can take the mark, or some of the smaller players, if it's punched away from Brown, could be at their feet. There's Round in front, Brady at the back. Couldn't hold the mark. Hand pass to Vernon. Snaps for goal, but he's up target and scores a dead level again. 110 points apiece. And we're just about on the 24... We are on the 25-minute mark, so it's only time on to play, and we see Vernon limping now. What a great game it's been, and we certainly hope that you're enjoying this match wherever you may be in Australia. Waiting now on uh, Clayton to bring the ball back into play. Scores dead level. Goes for a little kick. He didn't didn't leave the hand, Lou. He, he's got to go from uh, Yes, he put it in hand. boot, so they're going to ball it up in the up. goal square. Can uh, the Swan score it? They want a point or a goal. A goal will just about win it from Bob, or at least make it a draw for them. Here we go now. Barry Round coming to do battle there with the other big guys down there from Eston. Calling him over now. We need you all there, fellas, they're saying. Eston coming in. Madden's there too. That's what right on the point of the square. Can they get a point or a goal, the bomber, uh, the Swans? Punch it too. He'd be trying to Here throw. it goes now. Punched out. A chance for Little Wright, but it'll beat him and it's out of bounds. Still pretty close to their goal. Good play by Simon Madden there, Lou. He had exactly the right idea. Really thump it away. Madden and Round again for this knockout in that forward pocket. Push to the ground again. There's little right battling there. Down goes Terry Danaher. Comes out to Andrews. He can't pick it up. Umpire's found a free kick to the Swans. It'll go to Vernon for one of the back. He's tried hard, Lou. Yes, I don't know if it's too far out, but it's about 40 metres out. Be like a mile, wouldn't it? It's got to be the best kick of his life to get this one through to put the Swans in front. Scores dead level, and what a game we've got. There's the kick. It's through and out of bounds again. They can't get that point. Well, it's a thriller here. Probably about a minute and a half to go. I wouldn't think there'd be too much more. Can Essendon clear the ball away and get a winning score? Actually, a draw will be a fitting result, I think. Braddy goes the big punch, but it's ill-directed. Clayton's there. Carey backs him up, and the Bombers clear it away. Open spaces. Browning needs a good bounce. West hot on his hammer. Watson comes in to assist him. Browning well caught. Ackley. Heard. Can't stop him. Fine mark to Clayton. Clayton in the back pocket. Siren due to go any tick of the clock. He's gone for a short pass. He'll direct it. Chipping in and taking the mark out there is Ackerley. He'll go for another short pass. And Smith, the bionic man. He would be... 70 metres or 65 out from goal, nearly 28 minutes gone. In fact, as you can see, it's just ticked over now. Any score. We'll see a win for the Swans. Greg Smith. That's a score. What is it? One behind, I think, yes. So the Swans lead by that margin. And they may even be better with it at that end of the ground at this stage. Well, that could be. Let's see if uh, Essendon can answer that. I think there's still plenty of time. It's a beautiful torpedo punt kick. Danaher goes the punch. Madden and Fowler gets there first. Ackerley upended. Right in front. And that's the way to play it. Sees it out of bounds. The Swans in a thriller at the moment. One point. And we've been playing nearly 29 minutes, Luke. And the ball out of bounds. A point the difference in favour of the Swans. Torbert and Madden go. There we see at the back is uh, Danaher. The ball finally cleared back by Danaher. But that's back to Hawk. He's grabbed. He can't get clear. West tries to break clear the pack. And it's finally picked up now by Vanderhaar. Shot across the Eagle. And this looks dangerous on his own. He'll go for the long kick. He's gone for a short pass. It's good enough. Will it bounce right for Cobby? He's attacked by Winbanks. A by a call play. And it could have been in the back. As to have we see more with dodging and twisting as he drives the ball back. And a mark taken here by Kerry. Now it's the Bombers' turn to go right back into attack. Shot across over the half forward line in front of Storbert. Big seven. And seven doesn't know he didn't pay the mark. And finally Nagel's grabbed. Down he goes. And the umpire said it'll be a ball up. They're not giving any free kicks. They're letting it go. What a game with the Swans a point in front. And only about a minute and a half to go, I would say. Can they hang in there? Punched away again. Going through his cruise. Out to Vernon. There's a siren. And the Swans have won the match. The final scores. We see the scores now. 79-111. The Swans to Western. 15-20-110. <laughs>